The dramatic divorce was followed by Katie transplanting her life from Los Angeles to New York, where she was flooded with unwanted attention. Ever since Katie Holmes first rose to immense fame and popularity in 1998 as Joey Potter in the superbly popular teen drama Dawson's Creek, she has maintained a low profile. And her preference for privacy grew even more when she started dating Tom Cruise in 1995, eventually giving birth to their daughter, Suri and Marion Cruz before filing for divorce in 2012. The Post-Divorce Period Katie had married Tom in 2006, seven months after giving birth to Surrey. The dramatic divorce was followed by Katie transplanting her life from Los Angeles to New York, where she was flooded with relentless and mostly unwanted attention, so much so that the young mother and child had to go to the park at 6 a.m. just to get outside. Holmes's Coping Strategy Speaking of life before she grew comfortable with so much attention and admiration, she said that having a lot of attention makes you not want to leave the house since it's just too much. With her second film as a director, Rare Objects, underway, the Toledo, Ohio native further adds that it is easy to be consumed by what people think, but you have to take a sudden stand of doing things on your terms. She admits that she is currently in the transitional journey. She has a few projects in hand and is also taking out time to relax. She also harped on how moving to city life with Surrey following her divorce was a majorly intense period, when she had to deal with a lot of attention while having a little child to look after. She shared her city life was a very active one, with her taking part in a wide array of activities, be it dance classes at Broadway Dance Center to book club meetings. Though, she adds, it took some time to adjust to this new way of life. A touching incident amidst the tough times. Holmes went on to express how she found genuine friends in so many people whom she didn't know too well. Nevertheless, they came forward to help her, and that, she admits, is what she loves the most about the city. She recalls one particular incident when Surrey was six or seven and was spending the night at a friend's house while Holmes was away to see the ballet at Lincoln Center. At 10 o'clock, Surrey gave her a call, asking her if she can come and pick her, after which Holmes immediately took and cab and headed for Battery Park. Being exhausted, Surrey fell asleep on the way home. When they finally pulled up to their building, the cab driver opened the door, not only ensuring that she has not only woken up but also helped Holmes carry her to the building. Holmes was all praises for his kindness. It was an incredible moment, as she says which made her cry tears of joy. The times are changing. Katie Holmes also elaborated on how the world is no longer how it used to be, in recent times, the paparazzi and smartphone culture has grown in leaps and bounds, which makes it very challenging to stay away from the limelight. Now, she has learned the ropes in terms of being a person and not just a public person. The actress is thankful to the several New Yorkers who lent her a helping hand and all of that attention was surely not a bad thing.